Hey guys, how's it going? So this video is about an unboxing of Very Good Butcher Food. So I just got a new box of food. This is the second box of food that they sent me and I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys using a safety knife. Uh, unboxing. So, okay. Oh, whoa, hey. I thought this was only two. They gave me four. That's kind of cool. These are the uh, very good hot dogs. Uh, very interested in trying it. Very good dogs. So, very interested in it. The product is slightly warm. Not warm, actually. It's cold. But... You know, could be cooler. Uh, this one is very good uh, hamburger. And this is very good. I don't want to say the words, but smoking, you know, something. I might get demonetized for saying this other word right here. But you guys get it. These are like hot dogs. But these are the real hot dogs. I'm actually more interested in trying this new product. So, yeah. And then taco stuffers. I got five of these taco stuffers. Two. Oh. Two. Three. Four. What do they have expired date on them? Nope, they should have stamped the best before date on them, but they didn't. They didn't stamp the best before date. But they have cooking instructions, and they have the, they actually labeled the, you know, what's in this. Like, the kind of protein and stuff. It's high in vitamin B, and it's, high, it's actually, like, very healthy. Like, lots of, like, vitamins and stuff. I don't even know what theme is. High in vitamin B. Fiber, 3 grams. Sugar, 2 grams. Protein, 18 grams. Per 8 grams. So this is a total of 300 grams. So this is like... Really good for you, apparently. I guess. I don't know. Because like it's 8 grams and it has a lot of protein for 8 grams. 18 grams of protein for every 8 grams. That's quite a bit of protein. And one more thing, uh, very good taco stuffer. No expired date on any of them. What the hot dogs? Nope. No expired date on the hot dogs either. Oh well, whatever. But yes, I'm gonna set it up to make it look nice and then that's about it. Then I'm probably gonna take it upstairs. You can have a hot dog, Donald Trump. Having your mouth open just exactly for the dogs. Just These look good. I can't wait to try them. These actually look pretty good. Nobody's revealed this yet, which is kind of strange. I thought somebody would have like did a review on it. But maybe I'll be the first one to do a review on it. Taco Stuffer. I think this is it. I think I've tried everything, everything at Very Good Butchers besides the bacon. That's the only thing I haven't tried is the bacon. But yes. How much did this cost me? I think like 70 bucks. Because these are like $9 each. This is like 8 bucks. These are 11 These are like 12 So like $60, $70. The turkey was expensive. I spent $40 on that turkey. And it wasn't even that great. And it took me so long to cook. And like... A lot to clean up, big mess after I cooked it. Uh, it 
wasn't fun, but it got done. And yeah. But I don't have too much to say. I mean, I got another three minutes. You know, I, I honestly believe that Very Good Butchers could be, you know, a really big company in the future. And I, what I think a good price to buy them is at, if the stock price goes back there, is below $1.30. Because they raised $10 million or $8 million at $1.30. So if it goes below that, I think that's a buying opportunity. If it goes to like below a dollar, that's like a no brainer. But ultimately, we'll see what the what happens to the company in the future. But you know, I believe in the company. I'm still invested in the company, and uh, I did sell out some of my position, took some profit, but I still got a decent amount of shares in the company. And if I see it hit dip below a dollar thirty. I'm definitely going to pick up more shares because I think the company has potential long term. That's my opinion. Um, we'll see We'll see what happens when they open up the U.S. facility and finally get production to... Uh, we'll see earnings. Earnings ultimately tell the story at the end of the day. So if their earnings, they keep growing and showing growth and profitability... I de like as soon as they show profitability, I'm very very bullish on this company. I think the company should focus on short term profitability instead of just a hundred percent growth. But that is my opinion, and I don't know if that will happen. But if that was the scenario, I would be extremely bullish on the company. Like even one quarter of showing profitability would be freaking awesome, and I'm helping the company out by buying the products. As you can see, Donald Trump eating the hot dogs. Just, yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, bank. Uh, I, I'm not gonna say that word. But yeah, um, I got last another fifty seconds. I don't really have too much to say. Um, besides, you know, this is good. I mean, I really like these taco stuffers, uh, and uh, these bangers are pretty. I said the word are uh, pretty good. These burgers are not bad, but taco stuff is the best. And I'm planning to buy a bunch of taco shells and, you know, eat taco meat food stuff. But yeah. Anyways, I'm going to put these away and put them in my cooler. Put them back in the box so I can carry them. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy making videos. Well, actually, yeah. Well, kind of. I don't know. But thanks for watching, guys. Oh, look. They gave me this. What is it? Very good butcher. Eat very good butchers for cooking instruction, recipes, and facts. Check out. Okay. But they should be stamping expiry dates on these food products. That's just my opinion. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.